operation of the Charrington 950 Remote Control Beach Cleaner. The Model 950 Charrington's handheld remote gives you all the control that you need in order to operate on the beach. It consists of some knobs and switches. There is the power on switch, which enables the uh, power to the handheld unit. Now this switch is, uh, is a timed device so that if no buttons are moved, no knobs are turned, the handheld unit will turn itself off. So it is strictly an on button. If it is accidentally turned off, there is a delay period for it to re-engage or reacquire its signal. That's indicated by a small LED light, which will either be green for operational or red for standby or error mode. If you have a red light, simply turn the switch to off, wait a few moments, and then turn it back on. You'll see the light flash green and you're ready to go. The next function is the press trigger button to operate. Located inside the handle is a small black button and that engages the signal to the unit in order to make it move. The only way the drive unit will actually move is by pressing that button. Releasing that button will make the unit actually stop. So that controls the drive function. Once you power it on, make sure that your speed control knob the top knob is all the way set at zero and your steering control knob is directly straight ahead. It's very important for safety and also for ease of operation. Zero for travel speed and straight ahead and then engage your operate button. Once the handheld unit is powered on using the power on switch and you note that you have a green LED light solid not red the handheld control unit is then transmitting to the end range module. This is the actual radio receiver part of the two units. It then sends it to the DVC-5 controller, the actual router of the information, to the valve body block. These units are modular and easy to be replaced if necessary. The next switch or control on the handheld unit is the conveyor operation switch. You'll notice it has forward and reverse. In normal operating uh, for cleaning the beach, you want to make sure that the switch is locked in the forward position. That allows the conveyor flights to load material, pull sand up the screen, and debris into the hopper. If for some reason you have something stuck in there, a large piece of wood, debris, whatever, you can reverse the conveyor and run it backwards. The groomer, which is located on the back of the unit, is automatically deployed or lowered when the conveyor switch is turned to the forward position and it is retracted when the conveyor switch is pulled to the reverse position. Whenever going in reverse, make sure that you momentarily reverse the flights to pull the groomer up and out of the way. The next switch is the drive direction button. Again, forward operating and reverse backing up. Remember, whenever starting out, always make sure that your travel speed is set at zero and your drive steering is set in the middle and then to engage press your operate button. The digger point depth is controlled with the switch in the lower right hand corner. In order to get more digger point depth simply push the switch down. The digger point control cylinder, this front cylinder on the front wheel retracts allowing the digger point to go down into the sand. It is a proportional switch, so you can minutely adjust your digger point depth. You'll notice that there are spacers located on the front cylinder. By removing those spacers, you can preset your working depth. A great place to store those spacers is on one of the hoses. Now, whenever you lower it, your digging point depth or your working depth, cleaning depth, is exactly the same as where it was each time prior. Sometimes you need to get over a curb that is higher than the digger point. Simply by putting a block underneath the digger point, you can remove all of your spacers, 
drop the main body of the cylinder down by loosening up the clamp handle, retightening it. Now when you extend the cylinder, you get another approximately eight inches of curb clearance on your digger point. The Model 950's handheld remote control unit controls all the functions for operating on the beach. To begin, turn the power on switch to the power on position. You'll notice a light green indicator flashing. If you notice a red light, simply turn the switch off to the off position, wait a few moments, and power on. The green light will flash and you are ready to operate. Remember, always have your travel speed set at zero and your steering knob set at the center. That ensures that the machine, when you press the operate button, will move slowly forward and directly straight ahead. It's the perfect place to start whenever you begin from any position. Once you are ready to begin, turn your conveyor switch to the forward position, starting your conveyor. The next step, make sure that your drive direction switch is in the forward position, and then lower the digger point so that you can begin operating. The very next step will be to press the operate button and begin operating. Once that you begin moving, you can then increase your operating speed to about the 30 to 40 range marked on the hand controller unit and use your steering control to very carefully and smoothly steer wherever you need to clean. The NRAGE and DVC-5 modules send the information from the handheld control unit to the valve block. The valve block consists of a number of segments, each segment's controlling a different function hydraulically on the machine. For instance, drive, lift, conveyor. On the top of each one of the segments are two electric solenoids. If, for instance, for some reason you needed to move the machine but didn't have your hand con handheld control unit, but needed to raise the digger point off the ground, this second section controls the lift and lowering of the digger point cylinder. Located dead center on the top of each one of the electric solenoids is a little brass button. Simply by using a pin or a pen, screwdriver, something very small, you can depress that button while the engine is running at idle and that will lower or raise the cylinder. The valve body on the Model 950 Charrington is outfitted with two manual drive control handles. Both drive handles forward makes the machine move forward. It's very important that the engine is set at idle so that you are working slowly and in a controlled situation. When you move the levers backwards, the machine backs up. When's a great time to use it? Well, for instance, getting in between plants, uh, going down a sidewalk at the resort where there may be people. You have precise control at all times. Be aware of the rear tire to make sure that your feet are completely clear. Be aware of your surroundings, that you're not going to run into something while you're driving. Moving one lever forward or one lever back allows the mach machine to steer either right or left. Again, if your handheld control unit isn't with you, this allows you to load or unload or transport the Model 950 where you need it to go.